With all of the shopping that may occur on a Disney World vacation, there really are some items that you should bring with you beforehand instead of purchasing at the parks. You can buy almost anything that you need at Disney World, but to avoid the Disney tax that is placed on a lot of the common items you may be needing, and to save that money for a much more necessary souvenir or Disney treat, here are five items that you should purchase before visiting Disney World. The first item here we'll talk about is candy. When visiting Disney World, I always like making sure that I have some type of candy to eat throughout the park. I like having either Sour Patch Kids or gummy worms. Any type of gummy or sour candy is really great to have at the parks. Now there is candy that you can purchase at Disney World and it falls under the Goofy Candy Company line, but one bag of this candy can get pretty expensive pretty quickly. Of course, there's no judgment or anything wrong with purchasing this candy at Disney World, but instead what I like to do is I like bringing my own candy with me and buying multiple bags instead of just one bag of Goofy Candy Company candy. The second thing you should bring on your own are rain ponchos. Florida does not mess around when it comes to rainstorms and raining at Disney World, and so one thing you're gonna wanna make sure that you're prepared with is rain gear. A very popular thing that people use at the parks are rain ponchos, and the Disney gift shops and Disney World sell their own version of a Disney rain poncho. Now, yes, these ponchos are very cool. It has a list of all of the Disney World theme parks that can be found throughout the world, but other than that, it's a rain poncho, and how often are you gonna use it outside of Disney World. Instead of spending a lot of money on a Disney rain poncho, I highly recommend finding a rain poncho online or at a store that is much cheaper and a fraction of the cost than it is at Disney World. This is also helpful because it'll be able to allow you to continue going about your day at Disney World even though it's raining and you can still make the most of your day. Another thing you may want to consider having before visiting Disney World is your own medicine. There may be particular types of medicine that you like to have whenever you are going to Disney World or just just in general, and one thing I recommend is bringing it yourself and having it ahead of time. You can purchase it at gift shops or at some of the resort, but it'll be slightly more expensive. I know if I were visiting Disney World, I would bring my own bottle of ibuprofen or Advil, but if there's a particular type of medicine that you like to have on hand with you, definitely bring some ahead of time with you on your trip. The fourth thing is essential for me, and that is bottled water. Now at the parks you may have seen before here on my channel, I love bringing my own actual water bottle that I can fill up throughout the day whenever at Disney World. Because if you are at Disney World and you plan on buying your own separate bottles of water, it can definitely start to add up in cost because they can be anywhere from four to six dollars on Disney property. But what you could do is you could order groceries ahead of time to your Disney resort or hotel or pick up a case of water to have whenever you are at the parks. This will help you to save money in the long run and ultimately keep you hydrated for your time at Disney World. And the last thing that you should absolutely bring with you to Disney World and not pay for at Disney World is sunscreen. Sunscreen is super expensive at Disney World. There is a crazy Disney tax that is placed on that. You definitely will want to make sure that you have sunscreen with you at the parks and at your resorts. You may not think that you are as exposed to the sun when at Disney World because you may be in and out of rides, but you definitely will want to make sure that you have sunscreen on, especially during pool days because it can get very hot in Florida and you can definitely get very badly burned. So make sure you have sunscreen ahead of time so that way you can avoid the sunscreen Disney tax and make sure that you do not get badly burned. For more Disney World essentials that you should bring with you to Disney World, you can check out this easy Amazon haul here, as well as some other Disney Park essentials that you should have on hand when at Disney World. Avoid purchasing those items at Disney World and we will see you at the next video. See you guys!